Hello, everyone. This is Peter Granich, a few minutes. And I don't get to wear this shirt that often, but I will for the one of the all-time favorite New York Rangers. Fans love him. I love him. I even named the horse after him. Not the one that's behind him, but one that did pretty good, that we had a lot of fun racing. How you doing, Nick Fatiu? Good, Peter. How are you? Good to see you, buddy. Can't tell you how much I feel the good to see you there. Listen. Yeah. 11th at Three Hole Raceway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You love going there. You love seeing Ben Hur drive. So uh, what are you doing these days? Well, doing a little PR and uh, a little business. You know, just kind of doing my thing. So PR for the New York Rangers? Excuse me? You're doing public relations for the New York yeah. Rangers? Yeah, oh, I always do, so... And you, you still go to games and appear on that yeah. behalf? Go to games and be involved with the fans because that's what it's all about. Yeah, I know how much you love that. And I know you have a little construction business, correct? Yeah, I fool around with it. So, All right. So let me ask you a couple of things, and I just want to briefly talk about when we're next going to see each other finally. What, what do you think of the New York Rangers this year? Um. You know, they're not doing bad. They're two and two, and they go on the road for five games. So it's going to be important for them to, um, you know, see where they stand. Um, you know, their goaltending is the key. So hopefully, you know, their goalies will play well. But, you know, it's always good to go to the garden uh, and watch the games. And whatever happens, happens. You know, sometimes, you know, I don't have any control over it, but going to be a tough season because uh, everybody's gotten better you know the teams you know um the national hockey league have gotten better and you know when they come to madison square garden it's you know it's it's a, an event for the, the the visiting teams they look up and see madison square garden and um it's the best arena in the world Nick, I have to ask you this i wasn't gonna but i have to ask you since you brought up about the garden and i'm not talking about the rangers now as a young kid that was born and raised, a big thing, you're everything from Staten Island. You remember Staten Island is probably still farms there. What is going on in New York City these days, my friend? It's crazy. You know, it's really crazy. It's, uh, you know, ever since I was a kid growing up and traveling on the subway, I was aware my eyes were looking all around. My head was on a swivel. And um, actually, you, you got to be careful because there's just, you know, a lot of crazy people out there. You know, I can't believe a guy, if a guy pushes a lady on the tracks and uh, they say he's mental. Well, everybody that, that does something in New York is mental all of a sudden. But um, I think the mayor has to really uh, take control and, you know, um, and clean up the city. So, Nikki, people don't know this story. We're going back a little, but I know it. So when you lived in Staten Island and had to go play uh, hockey before you became a professional, you traveled the subways and you carried a hatchet with you. Is that correct? Yeah, I carried a hatchet to protect myself because, um, you know, I'm traveling in the subways three o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, you know, one o'clock in the morning and uh, to get ice time. And, uh, you know, uh, I was all by myself. So I had to protect myself. And, uh, you know, you got to you got to fend for yourself. You got to be careful are out there and you know as i was careful when i was a kid i'm still careful now and i don't know if a hatchet would be enough nick what's that in these days i don't know if a hatchet would be enough <laughs> you know but it's something you got to have something you know well listen and, you know you got to protect your family it's it's crazy i mean look what's going on in the, in the world i mean it's it's insane um and like I said, you got to protect your family. You can't protect everybody, but you got to protect your family. I got you. So tell me a little about before I let you go and we'll quickly talk about the upcoming November 11th. What do you think of the NHL these days? What's If I had to say to you, what's the biggest difference, good or bad, from the days you were playing, what would it be? Oh, well, you know, I think they've cleaned the game up. I wish I was playing today because, you know, you don't have to go out there and, and know you're going to fight. I mean, you could go out there and play the game and hit hard and 
uh, you know, I was a fast skater, so uh, the, the speed today, it wouldn't even bother me because I could skate. But, uh, you know, first on the puck, you can't hold up. So I, I, I like the game uh, today. Um, and, you know, I, I think it's good for the fans. It's exciting. You got the overtime, keep people in the building. So I think everything about the game today is is in the right direction. I only disagree with you one thing because I can't imagine hockey without a Nick Fatu beating up somebody on the opposing team. Yeah, but you know, people don't realize I didn't really fight that much. You know, I think the most fights I had in one year was 12. I just protected my players, you know, just like I protected my friends against, you know, bullies when I was a kid going through school. Uh, I protected my friends, I protected my teammates, I protect, you know, people that need help. Um, so, that's me, Peter. I know. I know. Listen, I know you. And that brings us up to the final point. On Saturday, November 11th, you're going to be kind enough to join me at Freehold Raceway. It's Veterans Day. We sponsor my wife and I a, a race for veterans. We raise money for a veterans organization. And you come and you spend the day with us as much as Harness is your second choice of racing versus thoroughbreds. You still have a good time there. I will learn on that day particularly not to earn, earn order any rice pudding or anything that you could use as a weapon against me. So I look forward to seeing you on that day. That's right. I mean, you know, we'll have a good time. You know, the people sign autographs, have a good time. And double rice pudding for you anyway. Um, and um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to having a great time. You know, it's, it's always a great time when you're at the track and there's fans and you're betting on horses and having a good time. I mean, Life's too short not to have a good time. You're right. But people have to know, and I had the great pleasure of personally knowing you for several years now and being around players. You are the biggest prankster in any sport from everybody I talked about that ever played. And I've experienced it enough. And the reason we talk about the rice pudding, because you invited my nose into rice pudding more than once. Hey, Peter, you know, when you're playing professional hockey and you're going to the buildings, like when I went to playing with the Rangers, you go to the into the spectrum and the guys were scared in their pants trying to be getting off the bus. So for me to play jokes on guys, to get the guys in a good mood, having fun. I mean, um, hockey's a fun game. And, you know, if you can make it more fun, that's even better, you know, so... I try to make it more fun, you know, jelly cream, uh, Bavarian, shaving cream in the Bavarian cream donuts, uh, Tabasco sauce in the, and jelly donuts. Lobs you know, lobsters on top of sleeping players? Huh? Lobsters being placed on top yeah, of sleeping lobsters. players? Yeah, whatever, you know, like it's, it's, it's all good. Well, listen, I look forward to you seeing you on the 11th. The three best nights I ever had in 20 years of hanging around with athletes is the night we shipped the four-legged horse, Nick Fatiu, to Yonkers. And you and your buddy, Ron Greshner, came up several hours earlier. We went for dinner, and you talked about your days of playing together. And if I had a tape recorder, I could sell that to Ranger fans because you guys could have never made it if they had videos and, and camera phones. You know what, Peter? It, it was all true and it was all fun, you know, and that, that's the main thing. You know, it was it, so many jokes, so many good times. And, um, you know, it's it's all memories. Yeah, well, we'll still have a few memories for Ranger fans if they want to visit us on Saturday, November 11th at the Frio Raceway. We'll be up at the Renaissance Room. And let me tell you something. I can tell you a lot of good things about Nick Fatio, but you don't have to wait for Come over to Nick Fatiu to get something. He comes to you. You just love being around fans. You're one of the most lovable guys when people think about, oh, how tough you are, which you are, but you just love being around fans. It's great. You know, fans, you know what, though? People come up to me and say, I got a puck that you threw me. Or I was in the schoolyard, you opened your trunk of your car and threw sticks over the fence to us. You know, I mean, you know, throwing pucks, taking crippled kids on the ice that you don't even know they're crippled and skate them around Madison Square Garden. I mean, I just love the fans. Well, they love you, Nick, for to you, and so do I. 
All right, Peter. Look forward to seeing you, buddy. All right. I'll see you on the 11th. Take care.